Whether it's Hollywood celebrities, star athletes, or rock stars, for many fans, an autograph is a treasure. The FBI says it's a billion dollar a year business, but how much of that commercial merchandise out there is the real deal? Contact 13 investigator Darcy Spears digs into the murky world of memorabilia. Retired musician Steve Camoli collects autographed posters and photos of his favorite classic rock icons and celebrities. Uh, that's Jimmy, his signature on uh, a photo of him playing. Steve bought most of his memorabilia at Antiquities International in the forum shops at Caesars Palace. A Marilyn Monroe handbag, Jimi Hendrix autographed lyrics, a poster of George Harrison signed by the Beatle himself, and an autographed photo of Judy Garland. About eleven hundred dollars for this autograph. Altogether, it was a twenty thousand dollar investment, but when Steve set out to sell his treasures so he could buy a home. Well, I couldn't basically pawn them or sell them or auction them. Why? Um, they all claimed that it wasn't authentic. Steve asked two Beverly Hills auction houses for help, but they could not authenticate the Jimi Hendrix lyrics. Yeah, I'll be here for a minute. Steve eventually was able to recoup some of his money after Antiquities International took back the Monroe purse and Hendrix lyrics. But the problem for many consumers is there's no one policing those who sell memorabilia to ensure what they're selling is genuine. These items of sports memorabilia were signed by the athletes while the fans watched, which is the only 100% guarantee that what you've got is authentic. The industry uses third parties who issue certificates of authenticity. While some claim to use scientific methods, there's no government oversight or standard. One of those companies that's considered an industry leader is James Spence Authentication. JSA recently examined Steve's George Harrison poster and concluded it's not, in fact, an authentic example. With rare exception, autographs in Las Vegas should stay in Vegas. Steve Serkin runs Autograph Live, a blog where collectors and experts help protect each other against buying forgeries, something the FBI is all too familiar with. It's very common. It's uh, obviously something that uh, there's a lot of money to be made in fake memorabilia. Supervisory agent Jose Perez says it often boils down to buyer beware. It's too good to be true. It probably is. The owner of Antiquities International declined to talk with us on camera, but says she's run an honest business for 35 years and claims everything in her store is certified and genuine. If you're buying memorabilia, be sure you trust the seller and know the store or website's return and guarantee policy before you buy. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.